series on what you should do if you just acquire one of these older Mercedes diesels. Because I've always said over the years, you know, when you get one of these old diesels, the very first thing you want to do is a compression test. Well, today, yes, I have to follow my advice. I have to do a full physical exam on the engine of this 300D before I start doing anything else. Once again, you can't believe all the emails we've gotten over the years. People have put hundreds of dollars in these cars only to find out later on that their engine is worn out. So I'm going to see right now today whether or not this engine has any more life left in it. We already did a few road tests. We did the little blow by cap dance test and things are looking pretty good, but I wasn't too happy about that dirty air filter. So maybe we've got some worn piston rings. In order to do this physical health exam, I call it, I've got everything right here on the bench I'm going to need. I want to explain something that I've recently done on my website. You know, we've offered this physical exam kit for the last 15 years, and it's been a very popular product. It may seem expensive, but when you consider the amount of money you can save, maybe even thousands of dollars if it prevents you from buying a bad diesel, I mean, it's worth it. But what I found over the last 15 years as this fuel injector problem seems to be increasing. I've decided that this pressure tester really needs to be a part of the physical exam kit that we offer on my website. So what I've done is I call this the ultimate physical exam kit. You can still order the regular physical exam kit that you've seen me use throughout this video, but the ultimate kit will include the tester. I'm going to give a discount on the pressure tester as it's included in a bundle with the physical exam kit. So that's why I'm calling it the ultimate diesel engine physical exam kit. So be sure and check it out on my website. I've cleaned the tips of all five injectors with a brass brush. Don't use steel on these tips, okay? And nylon brushes are just not stiff enough. But between the scraper I showed you earlier and this brush, the tips are pretty clean and they're looking pretty good. So I'm excited about testing them with my tester here. I mentioned earlier that sometimes you can tell the condition of your injectors by how the tip is worn. And that's not 100%, okay? I've actually seen fuel injectors with worn tips that actually spray pretty well. I've seen other injectors that look really good and they'll spray terribly. So I'm not going to show that in this video, but in another video I did on the third way to kill a diesel engine slowly, I show you a variety of injectors and how they spray. But for the purpose of this video and this ultimate physical exam that I'm going to do here, I'm going to go ahead and hook up each one to my bench mount tester and we're going to get the camera in here and you're going to see how each one sprays and the pressure with which it releases. If you look closely, you can see I've cleaned the carbon off all the tips on these five injectors. And if you look at the flat face of the nozzle, you can see it's fairly flat. There may be just a slight amount of wear right around the tip. Now I've said before that often you can tell by looking at the tip and the wear around that pintle there, whether or not the fuel injector is worn out. Well, that may or may not be the case, but these five injectors look pretty good. This one has a little bit of wear right here. So watch as I test these. I think I'll go ahead and just start out with one of these out of the 300D. We'll use that as a benchmark. There are two things you're gonna to wanna to watch closely as I pressure test this number one injector out of the 300D. I want you to watch the gauge. This gauge is marked in PSI, and this is a non-turbo fuel injector, so we're expecting it to release pressure about 1600 to 1650 PSI. That's critical. You want to watch that. At the same time, we want to watch the spray pattern. Now, I know it's a little difficult to see here because I'm using my fume capture bottle. Let me tell you, you do not want to be breathing the fumes that come out of these injectors. It's such a fine mist and it's not good for your health. So I always use a capture bottle and you can see this hose. I've got this 10 foot hose venting out a window here in the shop. Now I really like the gauge that we include with my tester. The first thing, it's liquid fill. So the needle doesn't bounce, gives you very accurate readings. The second thing is it has large distances between the markings. So every mark is 50 PSI. Some gauges are very hard to read. So we come up here to 1500, 1600. So the third mark over is 1650. So watch closely as I bring the pressure up. We'll wanna check release pressure first. Okay, there it's 1500. 1600, uh, look at that, right about 
1650. And look at how it sprang. See that? It's just a quick pulsation and a quick, very fine spray. Let me move the camera in and see if you can see that spray pattern. This ejector is testing very well. Okay, watch the spray pattern coming out of the tip as I bring it up to 1650 PSI. You hear that chirp? That's very healthy to hear that little chirp sound. And notice it's a very, very fine mist, but it has a nice cone pattern. It's not spraying way out to the side. Well, I was surprised that number one tested so well. It's pretty amazing not knowing the history of this engine or of these fuel injectors. So we're gonna go ahead and, and test number two through five now and see how they compare. Watch closely, we're gonna bring it up. Here we come, 1500, 1625, look at that. Look at that nice chirp and look at that real fine mist spray pattern. Number two is okay. Number three is hooked up and ready to go. Okay, here we come, 1500. Okay, this one's firing at about 15, no, almost 1600, but that's gonna be okay. And we've got the good chirp and the nice spray pattern on number three. Let's look at number four. 1550, 16, 1625. Look at that. Nice chirp. Nice fine mist spray pattern. Oh, man, I'm getting excited here. If number five tests this well, <laughs> I feel very fortunate. Fifth and final injector. Come on, baby. 1600, look at that, 1625. Once again, we're getting that little chirp, listen. All right. Okay, all five tested good. You can probably imagine why I'm so excited. I just avoid some extra work I can have to do here in the shop to rebuild these. So these things can go right back in the engine. And I've just completed the ultimate physical health exam and this engine comes out with an A. That means it passes with flying colors. And of course, when reinstalling the fuel injectors, be sure and use the new heat shield washers, which we include in the physical exam kit. And we're gonna put these in and we're gonna use a torque wrench. Now we do not include a torque wrench in the kit itself, we do include the correct fuel injector socket in the kit, but you'll need a torque wrench. We do sell a quality inexpensive torque wrench on our website if you don't have one. So you might want to order that if you're getting this kit and you don't have a torque wrench in your own tool box. Uh, we're going to bring these up and set them to the proper torque that I specify in my instructions. And we're going to bring it up very slowly like this until you hear the click right there. And then hold and release. And we'll do number one, the final one. Okay, up slowly. Hold and release. All right, the fuel injectors are installed. Now we can install the hard lines. Now we include a length of fuel injector return hose in the kit. And you can cut these to length or cut them to your old hose lengths that you removed earlier. So once you get all that back together, now, just like me, you can start fixing other things because now you know that you have a healthy engine that's going to give you some good life in your old diesel.